Hey everyone, my name is Perry. I'm an electrical and biomedical engineer and today we're going to watch Cells at Work episode 11 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. When your body temperature increases, then your blood vessels will actually expand and move closer to your skin, and this is called vasodilation. The reason you sweat when you're really hot is because the way that your body cools down is if the sweat evaporates from your skin, then that temperature is also actually leaving it. Like if you're if you're really, really hot and you wipe off the sweat, you're gonna cool down much slower than if you allow the sweat to evaporate off of your skin. This is contingent upon your body being much higher temperature than your surrounding environment. If that's not the case, and even if your body's really hot and then the environment you're in is really, really hot, like a desert or something like that, what's most likely gonna happen is you're gonna get really dizzy and then faint. The human body can equalize cold temperatures much better than it can hot temperatures. And like, let's say for example, if you jump into a pool, the water is really, really cold for a few moments, maybe a, a couple seconds, but after that, you're completely fine. Whereas if you're walking around in 90 degree weather, no matter how long you're walking around, it, the heat never goes away. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the exact opposite of what normally happens. If there is a bacteria inside of your body, then your body will release a fever to actually kill it. Like that's why you get fevers if you're really sick because that that's your own body's way of saying like the bacteria that you're infected with cannot survive in really high temperatures. So your body will release a fever to increase your body temperature and that's one way to kill the bacteria, but it seems like this guy is just for whatever reason really resistant. <laughs> I stand very corrected. I thought that for once cells at work actually got something wrong. Uh, that's not the case. There's so many bacteria in the world that there's got to be a few exceptions that just can survive in really high temperatures and the fever won't get rid of it. And this is one of those apparently and like after doing some research, Bacillus cereus, you usually get it from like spoiled food, particularly like spoiled milk or um, like really bad rice and it can survive in very high temperatures if fevers are not going to get rid of it unfortunately. That's an IV? That's so cool! That I don't know why that, that wasn't the first thing that came to my mind, but that is a really cool way of showing that. So like, okay, I, I, IV stands for I, I, intravenous, and essentially like that, so that's why you know all those red blood cells are in a vein right now, and it, they're used in so many hospitals and because like, it's a really really good way of getting fluids rapidly through your bloodstream. Veins move blood towards the heart and arteries will move blood away from the heart. And the reason this is specifically IV for intravenous is because you would never put it through an artery because arteries have much higher blood pressure. So puncturing an artery might actually cause you to bleed out and it'll do a lot more harm than good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more cells at work, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Or if there's any other movie, TV show, or anime you want me to break down, put that in there as well, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.